Hey there, kids. Okay, <clears throat> here is chapter 15. You're now a changeling, Cole managed after he and Annie had exchanged a long and awkward silence. You're a, Annie stammered, you're a, a goblin, prompted Cole. A goblin. Annie found her composure. She took a deep breath and immediately lost it again. You're a goblin. You're the goblin, aren't you? The one who, did you write this? She brandished the creased and tattered paper for, for Cole to see. Name's Cole, he said. I don't care what your name is. And if you think I'm about to politely introduce myself, like we were meeting at some friendly church potluck, then your name's Annie Burton, said Cole. Annie faltered. How, she said with measured breath, do you know my name? Been spying on your kids for nigh on 13 years, haven't I? Bound to pick up a wee bit. Know a lot more in your name. Annie blinked. New boots, Cole asked. Where are my children? Ugh, you didn't have to holler. I'm just as keen to know where the blank boys are as you are. Maybe more keen. Annie's eye twitched. No sense getting angry at me, woman. We're, we's both to blame for the whole thing, really. Both to blame? Annie managed to clench teeth. You think so? I, if and you had just stayed asleep when I was making the switch, I wouldn't have had to rush the job. If you hadn't interrupted me, I never would have left without her. Uh, uh, um, he trailed off, glancing up at Annie, whose face was going quite red. Go ahead, Goblin. Finish your sentence. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Cole cleared his throat. Point is, there's fault here and fault there, but getting the changeling back, that's what's important. No, no. I think it might matter a, a little, actually. Annie pressed. You never would have left without what? What could you have possibly been about to say? Cole mumbled something and inspected his toes. Maybe you were going to say if I had not interrupted you while you were trespassing in my house, then you would never have left without kidnapping my son and stealing him into the forest to be lost to me forever. Is that about right? Maybe something along those lines. I bet everything sounds so awful when you say it out loud like that. You tried to steal my baby. And I said I was sorry. No, actually, not that it matters, but you didn't. Well, maybe I would have said sorry if and you weren't yelling at me about every little mistake that happened years ago. Every little... Annie grated her teeth and pinched the bridge of her nose with one hand. You tried to steal my baby, and you're literally still trying to steal my baby. I am not. Keep your blasted boy. I'm trying to steal mine back. Been trying to get the wee changeling back since the day I left him. I can't seem to sort out which is which, though, and I've been bound by oath not to mess with yarn again. See none of this. How it was supposed to go, twins? Brothers? Bah! The pair of them were never meant to know each other at all. Changeling is only supposed to see its human for a moment. The goblin imprints, then the human is er, taken. With the baby to mimic, goblin goes back to being a goblin soon enough, finds his way home to the horde, and the whole thing done and over with, with inside a week. Except I had to go and mess everything up. I see messing up is something you've kept consistent over the last 13 years. You swore an oath not to mess with my boys. Well, thanks to your rotten message, both of them are now lost in these horrible woods. Annie's voice caught in her throat on the last words, and she found a well of fear waiting just behind her anger. Cole watched in uncomfortable silence for several seconds as her shoulders rose and fell. The forest isn't so bad, he offered gamely. Well, I suppose there are wolves and bears and great big snakes, he mused. Annie shot him a poisonous glare. If there's not any proper monsters, he said hastily. Well, not this end of the forest anyway, he paused. Well, if you say well one more time, Annie growled. Then I swear to you, I will become the scariest thing in the wildwood. She took a deep breath. 
I don't know why we're even still standing here. I'm going to find my boys. Annie spun on her heel and stormed back into the bracken. I am, though, came a voice at her heels a few minutes later. You are what? She did not bother to look down at the goblin as he scrambled after her. I am sorry. Annie ignored the goblin. She found her way back to the clearing on the edge of the mire where she had found the tracks in the torn dish towel and began scrutinizing the surrounding brush for any sign of new trail. Only one in my wee change line, Cole said, sitting down on a fallen tree trunk. Didn't mean to harm to your man, Lynn. Honest. Your change lane. Annie rounded on him. Yours? They are my boys. The change lane isn't a, have you sung any lullabies in the past 13 years? She demanded. Helped anyone with their homework? Taught anyone how to tie their father's old bow ties? with fumbling fingers so they could dress up for their first school dance. Cole opened his mouth and then tactfully closed it. Mm, my boys. They searched wordlessly through the bushes for the next few minutes. It was Cole who broke the silence. They went this way, he said. Annie glared at the goblin before climbing out along the long tree trunk where he stood. Muddy footprints marked the children's path. You read my message? <clears throat> Excuse me. You read my message, Cole asked softly from behind her. I read it. Then you already know. Annie stared at the footprints. If in the changeling doesn't a, doesn't to come back to the horde that this night, then it doesn't matter whose boy he is. I'm going to find them, said Annie. And that's the end of chapter 15. And this was will be 16. Okay. Stop.